the front console area of the device here that you see, I want to go over that briefly. Um, this is where we make changes. So we assess the graphs, we discover that there's some changes that need to be made. How do we make those changes? This is where we make those changes. Um, the knobs that you see here, this would be the left pressure and this would be the right pressure. We would make changes here if we're having a problem with fully ejecting. So if we're missing the eject flags on our graph, what we would do is we could up the pressure on the left, up the pressure on the right, either or, both, whatever, whatever needs to be done. So that has to do with pressure and the eject flags. In the middle here, this is where we would change anything uh, doing that, had, that had to do with partially filling or full filling. So if the device is full filling, we have a choice. We can increase the rate that the device is pumping, or we can increase the systole. Now systole, you and I both, even with our natural hearts, have a systolic function and a diastolic function. Basically systole is when the heart contracts, diastole is when it relaxes. So systole, diastole, systole, diastole. So if we increase systole, the percentage of time the device is spending in contraction mode, again, that means less time for filling, which would mean that the device would never have a chance to fulfill. So we would make sure that it's partially filling. So heart rate, systole for full filling issues, left and right drive pressure for ejection issues. This is where we would make those changes. Here, this is our alarm panel on the console. Um, as you can see with the alarm panel, there are more urgent alarms than others. The yellow is letting you know that something needs to be changed on the device, but not very important. Orange is getting a little more serious, all the way to the red where it's absolutely serious and we would, need to, um, we would need to change something within minutes. Also, on this part of the console, you'll see the vacuum. Um, as I was saying earlier, there is a, a vacuum in here, which is uh, pulling air pressure back, putting the device in diastole. Um, and we're able to do battery checks to make sure that the batteries are functioning properly. And then I have uh, an alarm mute here um, to mute any alarms that we have.